ladies and gentlemen, Richard Burns. Hey, Richard. Good. So what are we going to do about Formula One? Um, make, try and make it more interesting. Try and make it as interesting as rallying. Well, that's it, you know, because rallying is always seen as the poor relation, isn't it? But actually, it's coming quite good now. I think it is. There's more manufacturers in it. There's a lot more people who can actually win a rally now than there is in, in Formula One. And I just, I hope that some of the people who, are, who stopped watching that are going to start watching this. Yeah, that's true. It's been kind to you, let's be honest. Well, let's be honest. I, I was seeing in the papers badly. this week, twice as much you're earning now as Jensen Button. Ah, really? Well, I'm twice as old as he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a tax exile. I am. Got a house in Andorra. I have. Got a girlfriend. Yeah, which you need money for. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and you've still got ginger hair. You haven't spent know, any I of that. To cut most of it off. <laughs> yeah. Why do you drive one-handed? That's what I can't understand. It looks like you're really not trying. <laughs> hey, put both hands on the wheel, man. You go faster. You've got power steering. It's easy. Yeah, but you, why do you do it? You've always just got one hand on no, the wheel. No, I used to, but now you've got the gear change on the wheel then. Oh, no, you so haven't got that as well, have you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's rubbish. It doesn't work. It That's doesn't why it. you've lost the championship. <laughs> Because of your gearbox. Actually, no, why have you lost it? Um, we've had a fairly average year, and our teammate has had a spectacular one. Simple as that, really. We, no, you have. Me and Robert. We're a team. Oh, of course, we have a to team. listen to him. Yeah, exactly. Know. And um, he caused you to have a good crash, didn't he? It was totally his fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, a, I had quite a big accident a few weeks ago in New Zealand um, when it was totally my fault. The speed was right, but the corner was too tight. Make it live for us. What happened? Uh, the tyres had done about 60k, there are absolutely nothing left and it's on full gravel obviously and we slid into the outside, hit a bank, the nose dug into the ground and I went about five times over in the air. Hurt yourself? Nope. No. Mm -mm. Sorry. Have you hurt yourself at all this year? Any no. Nope. Nothing? So it's Boy. Colin McRae that hurts himself? Colin always tends to hurt himself, I hurt my co-driver, which is, which is fair. more sensible. Now, you've got this book out. Apparently, yeah. What's it called? Driving ambition. In your book, you said when you were younger, you didn't like going to pubs and discos and you preferred the company of rally people. Yeah, but then I grew up <laughs> and I had that money you were talking about and found out what all that was about. So now I do go to the pub. To be honest, I think if you don't allow yourself to live a slightly normal life, you're going to want to shoot yourself fairly quickly, I think. Well, I mean, I saw a picture of your great rival Colin McRae the other day tucking in on a rise to a curry sauce and chips. <laughs> Now, I've Nothing never seen that. a Formula One driver going, I'll have the curry sauce on they're that. No, they're, not, they're not cultured enough. Anyway, of course, it's the, um, what's it called now? Network, Network Q, Q Rally, Rally GB Great. starts next, well, this, later this week, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what day is it? What starts on Friday. It? Friday, yeah. okay. And you've won that three, three times. times. You've done your research. You sit in the car, you've got a heater, haven't you? Well, we've got a heater. So you're quite comfortable. Have you Very. ever thought what it would be like, come with me. Have you ever thought what it would be like for the people who have to turn up and spectate on the... Uh, I on remember, the I did, I used to do that. You did? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure that you've really got it at the forefront of your head, so I want to give you a flavour of what it's like to be a rally spectator, OK? If you'd just like to step out there, that's very much. <laughs>